let's have a look at the Helicon Text map case. I looked around for a whole bunch of map cases and this is new. And because I was sick and tired of my compass, my pencils, my pads all being all over the place. And I usually carry them inside the vest that I wear. And a lot of your map cases carry very big maps. Now, I don't normally carry a big map. Usually I'm going to Google Earth and I'm actually printing out a map off Google Earth or some other site that's on an 8x12 piece of paper. And that's all I needed. I am not a crazy navigating man like Mike Box. He's got um, training in the armed forces. I do not. I've never been in the armed forces. The only thing I know about using a compass is I used to do orienteering, and I would go on the run and try to find items and basically take bearings with my compass. So I would say. I got a lot more to learn about a compass. There's a thing called a protractor. Um, I need to buy one of those. I don't know how to use them. I'm going to have to watch some videos and learn how to use them. Apparently you can pinpoint where you're at with those, but I've never used one of those. So normally what I do is I take my compass, and this is kind of cool. It's got a snap there, and then you can hold a pencil or pen there. And then your compass has its very own pocket that it slides into. And my particular compass is uh, Sunto. It's an amazing compass. It has magnifying glass. I can check, you know, where the mountains are on the map and it has a mirror. And that's, um, that's a very impressive compass. I use it all the time. When I go in, um, make sure you're not near metal. I'll take a reading. And then what I do is on this side, there's a pocket. And this actually holds a um, right in the rain perfectly is what it does. This is an all weather. This is a Rothko. It's not even a right in the rain. It's a different one. But it does its job. It's what it's supposed to do. I also carry this. It's um, how to do different knots. I know how to do most of these, but I keep, I keep it as a guide more so than anything else. This particular paper here, this is for doing a whole bunch of little things with my compass. This is what it's for. On this side, I carry a black magic marker. And then when I flip this over, on this side, I carry a pencil. Now, when you undo this, it now opens up. And you can carry basically an 8x12 of your map of what's going on in here. And a lot of times, let's see if I can show you this, a lot of times I go in from here, okay, there's my town, so you get a kick out of this, there's my actual town, and I'll go in from over here, and this section here is 24 acres, is what it is. And there's a river that goes all the way through here. So you work your way through here, and then you can cross into a river, get into some farmland, or I can get dropped off up here, and then go in and go explore here. So I'm exploring all this land, basically, around my town is what I'm doing. And I got some other pictures for some other segments of different places around the town itself. But um, I normally go in here. And then we'll go in here and we'll camp and work our way in. So I'm not very far from my town or the river, so I really can't get lost, to be honest with you. I really wouldn't even need a compass in this section. But there are some other sections I go into that, you know, have over a thousand acres that I go into and I really got to be much careful because you got to watch for water and stuff. And how this works, you just unzip this and then a regular piece of paper goes in there is is what it does. And it's clear. Now you, you can even write it on the back here if I choose to or have another map the opposite way if you want and see where you're going. This um, Helicon text map I looked at quite a few maps that I've seen on Amazon. Some are clear, some are bigger, 
there really is not a lot of a selection out there, and I'm, I'm being quite honest. There, there really isn't. A lot of bad reviews on a lot of them, and I really wanted something compact to hold the compass, to hold the um, my pencils, my pens for writing coordinates down, because when I go in, I take a reading away from my truck, and then I write it down inside my pad. So that way, if i got to come out, I know which direction I'm going. In this pocket, I also carry Ranger beads. I've used these a couple times. And if you don't know what Ranger beads are, they're kind of cool. If you came across, for example, a... Um, say you come across a big pond. And then you shoot across with your, with your compass across to a big tree. Okay, you got your reading. You're going, say, west. We know which way we're going. And you take your reading. Now you start walking around this pond, but you're counting your steps on how much you're walking. So let's say I walk, I don't know, 20 yards, and then I count off one, 40 yards, 60 yards, 80 yards, 100 yards. And that's all you're doing is counting off what you're doing so you can keep track. So let's say I went as far as this. And I did 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 120. So when I get to the end of the pond, I now walk up, and then I do 120 back, and I'm going to be at that tree, is the idea. Let's say I use them all, okay, then you come over here and count one of these. So all of these equal one of these, is what's going on. And, and that's pretty much how you use... Um, your, your ranger beats and it's for getting around things now like I said I've used them a couple times they're super cheap off Amazon wherever you get them I believe I did a video on them already off some vet that was on eBay and uh, I don't use them a lot but it's basically just to get around things and get back is what it is so but when you start using a compass and uh, that's a that's a big thing you're doing. This thing is awesome. The way this goes together and everything. And that is um basically how this goes together. As you see. And this is new. I haven't even taken it out yet. It came in today. Uh, I'm very impressed how everything went inside here. This rides inside my chest rig is what it does. And like I said, I don't know how to use a pro uh, protractor like uh, Mike Box, his channel is. Maybe he can do a video on how to use it. I did look at some videos on how to use it. It's something I definitely got to look into more. But, um, and I think they're around 20 bucks. They're all different prices depending on the thickness. But you can pinpoint quite amazingly on a map with those protractors. Never even knew they existed, to be honest with you. The only thing I've ever used my compass for is walking in a straight line or my ranger beads to get around a pond or um, to make sure I can get back to my vehicle. And that's pretty much I can do. I didn't know you could do all this other stuff. So I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to have to look into that. Now, a lot of people use their cell phones, right? A lot of people do. And they don't, cell phones don't work where I live. I mean, I'm in such a small town that when I start getting back out in the bush, especially where I showed you on that map, I mean, there's no signal there. The most the cell phone does for me is, you know, it gives me, if I do get a signal, shows me a bit of a temperature, um, a few little things. And usually when I do get a cell phone signal, I'll actually call the wife and tell her where I am and do a check-in and that type of thing. But most of the time, we don't have any cell phone service where I live. I pretty much live in the middle of nowhere. So I have to depend on a compass. Um, I even carry a temperature gauge that hangs off my knapsack that tells me what the... And it's not perfect. It just gives me a general idea what the temperature is outside. And uh, that just tells me what I'm going into or how cold it's getting or whatnot. But a lot of stuff I do is old school. It's not, um, I don't have a lot of tech, GPS, and all that other crap on me. I really don't. I tend to stick to the old school stuff that always work no matter what because cell phone service just is very spotty here. And that's all there is to it. But this Helican Text map case looks pretty good. I went with this type of camo because I usually like multicam, 
but this one had prime delivery so I could get it in a couple of days where the multicam probably would have took a lot longer and um, but this is for eight and eight what is that eight by twelve just regular sheets of paper basically you know, sheets sheets like that is basically what it is and uh, it's not for the big huge maps if you do get into big huge map then you're going to be bending it and fitting it and then it's okay that way but if you just print them off by using Google Maps or you know Google Earth whatever you're using that was Google Earth when I showed you that um, this thing works out pretty good and everything packs away in this very nicely I'm not sure why they have all these loops on here they seem to add in a lot of other stuff you know that's the weird thing about it but it does pack away pretty good with everything on here and like I said it usually sits in my vest on me so not actually in my pack and when I pull this out everything is there that's what I liked about it I have my pencil I have my magic marker I have my map I have my compass I have a pad to write on I just really liked that everything was there and um, it really was an all one type of all, all one unit so I don't lose anything or I'm not looking like I usually had it in my vest on my chest and I'd have to get the pen, and I'd have to find the uh, compass, and then I'd have to find the pad. Everything was scattered all over the place. Where with this, when I open my chest rig up, I know this has all my compass and everything I need. This looks like a pretty good case. It wasn't even that much money. I think it was 22 24 bucks. Some of the other ones I've seen are just big plastic sheets. They were like 10 bucks. But there really is not much of a selection out there for something that can take, a, take care of anything. The only thing I don't like about this... I wish it had another pen holder. I wish it had one more so I could put a pen. Like right now I got a magic marker and a pencil. I wish it had one more. I, maybe I could slide it in some other place, but that's the only thing I, I, I wish it would have had. And that's the uh, Helicon Tex uh, map case. Catch you guys later.